This is James Gardner, this is New Tech Geek at CinemaCon 2016, and I'm on the Dolby stand again with Jesus. Now, I haven't done a video about this product or this type of product for a long time. I've been meaning to, and we're talking about today is TMSs, a TMS or Theatre Management System. Now, Dolby has released a, a remake of their current TMS, now it's called TMS4, version 4.1. Um, and I wanted to go through basically what it does so people understand what a TMS does for you as a cinema owner. Now, firstly, what's the basic definition of a TMS? So the basic definition is pretty much a way that a theater manager can manage all their screens, all their SMSs. So each individual one. So we're talking about a, a theater that may have 18 screens or 10 different screens, being able to find an easy way from one central location to ingest content, push it down to all the screens in the quickest possible way. That's right. Now, one of the key aspects of a TMS is that every cinema owned or every cinema has a, a point of sale system. And the point of sale system is really the top of the tree in terms of when you do your scheduling and you just and you put in what movie you're going to uh, put on. Now that exactly how feeds into a TMS. So, so how does that exactly happen? So essentially we interface, the TMS interfaces with the POS system as in we set up a schedule that we're looking at the POS system every five minutes looking for any adjustments. So anything, any new movies coming in or change of times. Once we see a change in time, we grab that information, parse it, put it into our theater management system, and then disseminate that information to each individual screen. So that's right. So if, for example, if you moved a session by five minutes, within five minutes that change in metadata would be picked up via the TMS. Mm -hmm. It would then reflect that into its um, scheduling inside the TMS and then automatically route that out to all the players all automatically. Is that correct? Exactly. Yeah. So. This is important um, because if you are running a, a very, like, uh, three screens and up, TMSs make sense and they, uh, they pay for themselves. Three screens, and, three screens is, you know, you can get away without it, but uh, below three screens, it's a, it's, a, it's a nicety to have, but you can really run without them. We ran, we ran cinemas for years without TMSs, we can still run them. But at the end of the day, this is a time-saving device. It saves you time, and time is money. And also, the biggest part of it is it's because it's automated and computers are taking care of everything, computers don't really make mistakes. Reliability goes up ex ex hugely. The fact that sessions go at the right time, mistakes don't happen. And that's probably one of the biggest advantage of a TMS system, especially when you've got a, a, a large number of screen system. So let's quickly go quickly how, go through it, some of the how it sort of works areas. So. Like a SMS, you ingest content into the TMS. So it's a, it's a computer server. In this case, it's a CentOS 7, from my understanding, which is a, a version of Linux, which I approve of because DCPs come on Linux-based formats. And in terms of the most reliable operating system to talk to DCP drives on is a Linux-based operating system. So I'm, I'm a big fan of the fact that yours is a, is a Linux-based system. And also, um, this is the next generation, and so it's web-based now. Yeah. So is it is it based on the old generation, or is it completely new? So it's based on the old generation, so we didn't want to discourage any customers coming from TMS2 or TMS3 and get rid of the way that they interact. So we've added the web UI. So if someone is familiar with what we call the QT version, which is more um, tab-based uh, application, if you're familiar with that, want to continue using that, we still have that. So we've updated with our software to, to accommodate that, but then we just added the web UI. A quicker, what we think is a much slicker, a sleeker uh, interface. Yes, I it's agree. more familiar with, um, or more uniform with the IMS 2000 and the yeah. CPA 50. That's right, so, so it, it of, feels the same. It feels the same. That's so right. the, the great thing that we've heard is if you've, uh, you, if you've used a Doremi server, yep. um, you can know how to use a Dormi TMS. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And, and what we were trying to do is also get it the other way around, where if you used a Dolby server, we're trying to get people to, to see the, this new Dolby Dormi TMS and be able to know how to use it. That's right. Be very familiar with it instantly. That's right. So, so that's what we're really trying to achieve. And, and that's very important. So I'm a big fan of web interfaces because you can just type in the IP on any machine in your complex. You're there. You've got control. It's perfect, right? You don't have to be at a particular station. We work from many locations, remote. 
doing remote administration of sites is becoming very common and this is such a good way to do it. It makes it seamless and remote administration works much better than using any sort of VNC and other aspects. It's faster, yeah. it feels like you're right there. So that's really good. But I wanted to quickly go over some other issues. So in terms of a, a TMS, how does a TMS, you said it's like the SMS. It feels like the SMS. You ingest stuff like an SMS. You make shows like an SMS. But the big difference is you now apply those shows based on the on the point of sale system. So the point of sale system says we're playing Superman at five o'clock. You apply a, a SPL, a show playlist to Superman. And every time the point of sale system says I'm showing on this particular screen, it automatically applies that to that particular show. But it feels like you're programming just one SMS, but you're actually programming them all. Yeah. Right? Exactly. And, and that's, so the simplicity of programming one, it sort of extrapolates onto the simplicity of programming them all. And that that's, shows you that it's easy to use. Now, um, there's one other, other aspect. Uh, this currently only talks to the Dolby and the Doromi, or the, the Doromi Dolby product. Yeah. Will be people be able to use this on, um, you know, older technology? Like if, if I'm moving over, if I had a, a theatre which had some uh, cubes or GDCs or something, and I've decided to jump over to the to the Doromi slash Dolby um, SMSs, uh -huh. IMSs, mm -hmm. can I use that in that situation? So, right now the TMS only controls Doromi and Dolby servers. Um, we don't control other manufacturers. Is that, um, is that going to happen in the future? You know, that's kind of hard to, to, to dictate. You know, um, we're open to the idea, but you know, we're not the only ones that actually have something involved or staked at this, right? Yeah. So for the for the time being, it's Doremi and, and Dolby servers. Okay, cool. Um, um, well, I think that's all we can cover on this today, but um, it's a great new uh, development from Dolby, and it's probably the, the product of in terms of new products for um, cinema owners mm -hmm. this is probably the product that they've done this year apart from all the other stuff that they'll be doing with their audio etc their evolution evolution of that this is a big jump in the quality of tms technology from dolby so thank you very much for describing that to us and telling us what a, a tms is and how it can help the cinema owner and i really appreciate that yeah, of course. and I'll, I'll see you next to cinemacon thanks Sounds a lot good, mate yeah. this is james right. gardner at cinemacon 2016 bye for now